And now we go to the back side. Question number seven. The radius of the circle is given in meters. Yes, it is. Eight meters. In fact, I'll even tell you that's the radius, in case you forget what radius is. What is the circumference of the circle? U is 3.14 for pi. Ah, oh, man, I forget how to do this. Well, that's okay. Let's take a look at our star reference material sheet. Circumference of a circle is... Circumference is 2 times pi times r, or pi times diameter. Depends on whether you're given the diameter or the radius, and we're given the radius. So I'm going to write this formula over here again, copy it down. C equals 2 pi r. And remember, it says use 3.14 for pi. But in, if we're dealing with a multiple choice test, just use 3 for pi. Okay? So let's take a look. It's going to be 2 times 3 times 8. 2 times 3 times 8. Okay, 6 times 8 is 48. So my answer is going to be really close to 48. Nope, yep, nope, nope. Hey, there we go. Number 8. The dimensions of the figure are given in millimeters. What is the area of the two-dimensional figure? Okay, so I'm looking for area of this thing. I don't have a formula for this kind of shape, but I do have formula for simpler shapes, such as a square and a triangle. Take a look at that. And my formula is for the area of a square triangle. I'm going to look them up. A triangle is one half base times height. A rectangle, a square is a rectangle, is base times height. So my square here is going to be, so this part is going to be uh, base times height. And this part over here is going to be one half base times height. Okay? What is the base of this square? Well, it measures 13 long. What is the height of this square? It's 13. That's 169. If you memorized your times table up that far, it's awesome. Otherwise, you can multiply that. Well, let's look at my triangle. Okay, what is the base of my triangle? 13. What is the height of my triangle? 6. If I do this, so let's see, half of 6 is 3. 3 times 13 is 39. If I add these together, I should get uh, 208 square millimeters. We'll do one more. Right. Number 9, gridded response. What is the measure in degrees of an angle that is supplementary to a 74 degree angle? Ugh. Okay, this you just got to know. You got to remember what the word supplementary means. Supplementary, we drew this angle that one day. Supplementary means that two angles, they form a line. Okay, that's all it means. So if I draw a line and I split it into, into two parts, maybe this one's 74. This one is its supplement. Okay. 74 plus, who knows what this line is, this angle, but I know they have to equal 180 because they align on the same line. Okay. So I can just do 180 minus 74 to find me the answer. And that'll give me 106 degrees. So again, with grid ins, I write it up at the top. And then I bubble in.